Hi, I'm Emma and welcome to my home takeover. I run an Instagram account called The Crap Flat, which is all about making the most of your rent at home. I am quite an anxious-minded person. Quite might be underselling it. I'm a very anxious-minded person. So for me, home is all about finding ways to calm the anxious mind. And I do that with soothing neutrals uh, and tonal layers designed to kind of cocoon you away from the world. When you're an introvert like I am, being out and seeing lots of people, it can feel quite draining. Not that I don't love it, I love people, but it can drain your energies. So my home is all about finding spaces to recharge those batteries so that you can go around and do it all again. So this room doubles up as a dressing room and a chill out spot. So everything in here needs to feel nice and together to kind of help wind down the days, but also be a place where I can get myself ready to face the day. It's doing a lot of jobs. So the piece I've chosen to hang in this room is called Lara's Last Scene and by Yi Yan Tso. I really feel like great art can help you access a mood or a feeling and provide a checkpoint for your day. I often find myself gazing at pieces of art when I need to feel a certain way. Um, and I think when we're rushing through busy days as we all are, um, or will be when everything reopens, it's really important to take, take seconds, take a moment in a day to just tune back in with yourself and how you're actually feeling. And I feel like this piece really does that for me. Now, by day, I am a writer. Um, I write a lot of copy for brands. Um, I help them decide how they want to sound. So my office needs to be a place of calm and a place where my mind can wander and foster creative thought. So the piece of art that I've chosen to hang in here is So Close Yet by Joanna Layla. I really love the way that this piece feels so minimal um, and yet so expressive. The little dots of colour, the kind of flowing lines that also feel a little bit jaggedy in places. It sort of feels like my imagination at times. I think that a lot of us, when we think of buying art, it feels like such a commitment and it sort of calls to mind being in an auction room or something and finding yourself overwhelmed by choice and what I'm learning in my own journey with art is that it doesn't have to be this terrifying all-encompassing thing that you can dip your toe in the water try out different things and it's really nice to actually have chance to experience that and to talk about that with you guys. So here we are in what is probably the most underused space in this house, the dining room. At the moment we are very much dinner on the sofa people, so I'm always looking for new ways to bring us back over to the dining table. The diptych that you can see behind me is by an artist called Joseph Neat. So as you can probably tell by looking at it, um, Joseph uses lots of layered tones and textures with these little details that you wouldn't even see unless you were quite close up to the painting. And that's why I've hung it over the dining table because I think those details invite a level of introspection and I'm anticipating lots of lingering conversations over dinner. I think great art really challenges the way that we 
see the world um, and opens up great conversations, whether it's I hate it, I love it, it's the why behind those opinions that starts those conversations and that's one of the things that I always find with art, it can be so polarising but it means so much either way and I think we all have an opportunity to support artists who are pushing boundaries, who are helping us to change our world view. Art creates space for discussion. For me, I've always been a little bit afraid of art, if that makes sense. Um, it's always felt like it's a world away from where I existed. I first came across Blur Art through Instagram and I just love that there are businesses out there who are doing their level best to make art more accessible to people. And not only to make it more accessible to a consumer, but to get artists out there, to get new emerging artists out there. Because I think every time we hear about a new artist and every time we become familiar with a new artist's work, it makes that world of art seem more accessible. Our hallway is quite narrow. So it's a good opportunity to have smaller pieces of art, like these mini originals by artist Eva Merendez. Eva's work is influenced by her knowledge of psychology, which is probably why I like it so much. Those kind of fluid lines and inky colours, um, they sort of invite an introspection that is very much up my street. Also, if you're scared of buying art, which I think a lot of us are, these mini originals are a great way to just dip your toe in the waters of owning original art for the first time. So this has been my home takeover. I hope you enjoyed it. I've loved having you. I guess all that's left to say is, if you want great art, go shop with Blur Art.